How's it going, boys and girls? MMK09 Brewer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. When we last left off, we finished episode 2, A Rumble Down Under. And now we're going to start episode 3, Flight of Fancy. So without further ado, let's get this started. Oh no, sad face. Benley was obsessed. Every night he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. N's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. Ossifer? Is Bentley drunk? After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Baron. A big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. Challenge accepted. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got you my and pilot me both, license Bentley. the fastest way possible. It's like Cooper and the gang, in. Flights of we Fancy! Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. Welcome, aviators. Sly has a job to pull off. Press X to play as Sly. I want to go to ThiefNet. Not yet. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get at least 600 coins. Er... Oh, I have enough. Yeah, those two I'm gonna need to... Oh, I got a trophy for it too. But like, those are the only ones that are needed for certain missions. OMG, a flying turtle!
succeed in this year's ACES competition, we'll need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, yes. competitors yes, would go are. out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster nice. is kept secret from the pilots, but not well, from the Dimitri. event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Hello, Dimitri, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby. But be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure. We all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Did never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights. I Bentley seemed to think you might have a cop. Cracker box. Why? Looks like I'll need to intimidate him a little. Maybe I should... Threaten violence. Listen, pal. We both know who will win in a fight between the two of us. I'm not looking to start something here, but you know I'll finish it. True that, raccoon. In the mano a mano, you win. But look around, you soft sock. It's a supersized aviator blowout. Start the fight in hotel, and disqualification will be yours. <laughs> you want that, Jack? Maybe I should use a logical argument. We both know you're gonna tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk, so spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on an electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is big. This guy's paranoid. Looks like I need to calm him down a little. Maybe I should... Let's go triangle. You talk, and the secret stays between us. I am a thief, after all. Keeping things quiet is what I do best. Trust a band of thieves? Do I look chumpy to you? Your promises will be cold comfort when I'm pushing up the daisies with concrete overshoes. Maybe I should compliment him, make him feel good. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk a flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months. Of a time. favor? Deal. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies. <gasps> this guy's a real nut job, not sure I want to owe him. I could agree to the favor. Okay, Dimitri. Book me up with the flight roster and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. <gasps> Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese. I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time we're gonna drill you jokers Damn. full of holes. Mugshot. Talk about two classic villains coming now, back. We all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good nature late night. Well. 
Like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes. Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear <laughs> on Korea's planes. <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine. Huh. Yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more. You know the rules. No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exceptions! This will be a fair competition! Same as last year and the year before. I've got the scars to prove it. I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated... Sorry if you heard that noise earlier. Some guy was driving his motorcycle outside. It was like a... I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 seconds ago. They don't lock the front door to the hotel. This isn't a jail. But you're the Baron. What's outside? Things will get dangerous. I just realized the music that they're playing here. It's a little small jazz version of the Dimitri's boss fight in Sly 2. Well, part of it was. Can't wait to finish this so I can start Sly 4. Careful, partner. The Baron's got plenty of guards on duty. And it's a long way up to his castle on the hill. It's okay. I'll just use my parachute. I remember those from slide two. Lumberjack games. I won't be able to get inside the Baron's hangar with that drawbridge up. There should be a release lever on top of the castle somewhere. Sorry, pal, but you're the best climber we got. Damn straight, Bentley. Don't misjudge the raccoon. Raccoon mis- The competition starts tomorrow. Where are all my guards? Asleep? Watch the TV? Bother paying them at all if they're going to lounge about like common tourists. Uh. No. I tell you, Christoph, the Aces pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. Well, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Baron. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job training. Our pilots are in tip-top condition. The best lot, without question, <laughs> truly. I'm not just saying this, truly. This is going to be our finest <laughs> victory ever. Yes, yes, tomorrow we'll witness some legendary <laughs> Provided the other teams don't sabotage each other. That was a close one. Sly! Hey, Sly! Sly, are you up there? Nope, sorry. Just nope. us Black Baron goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. But... But there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on, I got an idea. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. Where is it? Oh, there it is. 
I wasn't paying attention to the cutscene. If Dimitri's intel is accurate, the flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. Like a little bit of demolition. Okay, there we go. That's the code. Five ten. Aces team roster. Mid job complete. I'm gonna end it after this cutscene, guys. It's fun to play. See you guys okay, next time. fellas. According to the Aces flight lineup. We'll be flying against Team Iceland and Team Belgium in tomorrow's semi-final round. As you're all aware, we've only got a single play, while our opponents will be flying 15 apiece. You got that, guys? That's 30 to 1 odds against us. In order to give us a fighting chance, we'll need to pit these two teams against each other. First, Murray and Sly will paddle through the sewers beneath town to get access to an air vent leading into Team Iceland's hotel room. Steal one of their trademark Viking helmets, then head over to Team Belgium's hangar. Vandalize one of their aircraft, then flab the helmet in order to frame Team Iceland for the damage. Next, Murray and I will steal one of Team Belgium's monogram handkerchiefs. Meanwhile, the Guru will break into the Team Iceland supply truck, carrying their lucky ice sculpture. Sly will steal the art and then place the handkerchief insinuating Team Belgium for the crime. Get it? We frame both teams, so they'll be gunning for each other and not Sly in the semifinals. All the while, I'll be setting up defenses around the Team Cooper air hangar. You never know when one of the other teams might come looking to do us some harm. 